Okay, welcome to a new video for Trimble Virtual World. We are releasing version 2.0. Point six, um, and so we have new functionality in the scenes. Uh, so let's get in. So you can see now when we start the uh, virtual world in construction scene, um, all total station is going to be placed right away above a control mark. Um, so that's speed up the process if you want to do a uh, quick testing. Um, you can see as well we added a green laser pointing straight down to the mark so uh, when you place the total station you know where it is uh, and place it pr precisely. Um, so how to do that? I'm going to use uh, the function on the keyboard P or on the Xbox controller in the bottom right. Uh, he asked me do you want to move the total station and I say yes. If I hold the two bottom and I start to use the moving control, I can really place the total station as I want. Um, making sure that I am uh, perfectly over my control mark. Uh, when I'm good to go, just need to release everything. And now we've placed. A um, couple of additional functionality, so if you go to F9, uh, you can see uh, your coordinate uh, for your base station and your rover on the left and it will also alight a couple of, of the control points it's not all of them uh, but it's a, a good chunk just to get you started if you need um, now as well uh, when you needed to go across the scene you still uh, was able to use the function key shift uh, to go fast but this was too slow again so we included the F5 to go ultra fast, uh, so that allows you to get uh, on the other side of the scene uh, at uh, extreme speed. Um, some of the functionality now we can uh, place markers, so uh, plenty of markers. Um, before the marker was uh, pointing, uh, you was uh, changing view, looking uh, down. Now the new uh, way you place the marker straight where your uh, survey pole is. So you can measure it straight right away. Um, and usually it's what you will do if you are doing a stack out, you want to place the marker exactly where you are measuring. Um, um, and you can really place as many markers as you want uh, very quickly, very easily. So if you are staking out a road, uh, you can do that. Let's say by mistake you place a wrong marker, you can stand next to it and use the function key F4 to remove. Uh, he is asking to confirm you want to remove it. If you say yes, it will remove it. So I can go to this one. I'm going to say F4, say remove. Um, let's say you want to start again the, the full exercise. You can do F3. Uh, and it's going to ask you, do you want to remove everything? And so you can confirm that. Um, another functionality, because before um, it was hard to know what is the height of your total station or your survey rod or your prisms. Um, so if you press F6, uh, it brings up a pop-up uh, window and it tells you what's the height of your uh, total station and your rod. Um, in the future, we'll probably uh, add some functionality to um, allow um, adjusting the height of uh, each of them. Um, that's pretty much all for the new version. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it and you will see you will be able to uh, do, for example, some traversing like place a marker, measure it, come here, place your total station, okay, and move really quickly to your backside, run to it and in no time you're ready to uh, do your work. That's all for this episode. Uh, I will see you on the next release. Okay, see you.